The Mudskippers have arrived. Hey fish friends, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. My name is Zenzo from TazawaTanks.com. So that is correct, the Mudskippers are here. Now a lot of you have been asking me over the past week or so about the Mudskippers. Have I found any? Did I order any? If you follow me on Instagram or if you go to the Tazawa Tanks uh, Facebook page, you will know that I got them. Obviously you know now because you're watching the video and you saw the thumbnail, but you would have known a few days in advance. So usually um, if I'm you know, looking for something or you know, gonna share something, a lot of times it comes out on Instagram first, so it's Tazawa underscore uh, tanks on Instagram. So anyway, um, I did get the Mudskippers. It was kind of an ordeal, so um, it was an issue in me getting them. Again, I made a post about this on Instagram. So I placed an order with a company that was recommended to me as far as getting the Mudskippers. They had what I wanted. It was a really good price. So I placed the order and um, I got a confirmation back that they received my order. Then I saw that my credit card was charged for the purchase. And, and then the email that I got from them was just kind of one of those automated emails that says, you know, we, got, we received your order, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, I gave it a few days. I didn't hear from them. I wanted to make sure that I was home when they arrived so that I could make sure that, you know, they weren't sitting around in a box unnecessarily. So I reached out to the company. I called the number. No answer. I uh, they said don't leave a message. They don't they don't listen to messages on their machine. So they gave me another number to contact them via text. So I text them. No response. Um, I called another number that was on their website. No response. The same recording. And um, yeah, so that was that. So it was uh, kind of a week and a half of me not hearing from them. And in the meantime, I was, you know, really looking for these muskippers and I wanted to make sure that I got them. So what I did is I kept my search going. I found another company that does offer them. I called them before I placed the order. They picked up the phone. They said, yes, we have a bunch. How many do you need? I said, I, I just want three. They said, absolutely, place your order, we'll ship them out. So I placed my order. I got the confirmation uh, email back and they were arrived um, in, at my uh, mail place within two days. So super excited. The first thing is that they were really shy for the first few hours. That was kind of expected. Um, I did uh, try to film an unboxing, but then I noticed that the uh, camera wasn't uh, working properly. I might have caught some of it, but uh, didn't capture the point, the part where I put them in the tank. I had everything set up and then I saw that I didn't hit record. So that's a shame on me. But anyway, they were kind of shy for the first uh, few hours and that's expected they were in a box for a day and a half or whatever um, you know it was dark in there the heat packs are great they were warm they were you know perfect they had like styrofoam and stuff in there for them to uh, sit on um, so the muskippers were, were healthy they looked fine I put them in the tank once I made sure that the uh, temperature was acclimated I didn't have to float the bag because um, there was not very much water in there at all it was just a little bit of water so I just uh, set the bag this whole room is heated so um, I don't, uh, you know, heat the tanks individually. So just the the, the bag sitting out uh, makes everything the same temperature. So anyway, I put them in, and uh, for a f you know a couple of hours they didn't do much, and uh, you know soon they started to kind of move around and they were super shy. So I'd have to sneak up on them. I'd have to turn all the lights off in here and sneak up and kind of take a picture real quick with my phone. Then I had the bright idea of giving them some food. I wanted to give them some live food, so I called up a pet store. I said, do you have any of those flightless fruit flies? Um, they said, absolutely, come on down. So I went there, grabbed a big jar of them, and put some of the fruit flies in here, and the mudskippers went nuts. They started jumping around, chasing them. Um, one of the cool things, and uh, you probably can't see right now, but, um, well, there's actually, there's one right there. I'll, I'll, I'll you'll, you'll see. But anyway, um, what they were doing is there were some flies that were kind of out in the middle of the water and they would jump from the land out into the water, grab the fruit flies and then swim back. And uh, it was quite interesting. So anyway, I've had them for a couple of days now. They are doing very well. They are, um, you know, acclimated to their environment. They've been eating. I even gave them some pellet food. 
they ate the pellet food. I wasn't sure if they were going to eat the pellet food, so I called the store that I bought them from <clears throat> and uh, the shipper, and they said, yes, we've been uh, putting, we've been weaning them on to dry foods to make it easier for the people that buy them. So, you know, some flakes, some pellets, etc. in addition to like small crickets and, you know, flies, etc. So, anyway, um, they're doing well. They're not shy anymore. Like, if I startle them, they'll, they'll hide under a rock or something, but for the most part, they're out in the open, they jump around, and they are so fun. Now, my wife is not crazy about uh, aquariums. I mean, she I mean, she tolerates them, and she enjoys them to some part. Um, and, you know, when you have 35 tanks in your house, you kind of have to enjoy them a little bit. Oscar is her favorite. I don't know if you can see Oscar there. Uh, my Oscar is her favorite. Um, she does love the little reef tank upstairs as well because of the color. But she came down here, we had a glass of wine, she sat here uh, in a chair and just uh, enjoyed them with me for a while and she said that uh, she really liked them. At first they kind of freaked her out because she said they were kind of um, like frogs and kind of creepy looking. But uh, after a while she really started to like them, she even named them. So uh, there's three of them in here, she named them uh, Larry, Curly, and Mo after the Three Stooges. So anyway, I thought that was kind of funny. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep those names, but those are her names for them. But uh, anyway, um, that's what's going on with these mudskippers. And uh, I haven't done anything with uh, getting fish for here. A lot of you in the other video had a lot of suggestions as far as what I should put in there. Um, I had shared that I was thinking about the bumblebee gobies. If I can find some, I might do that. The other option was uh, some of you mentioned like a figure eight puffer or something because this is brackish water. So I'm going to continue to kind of really think about what I'm going to put in here. Um, the finding the fish parts, the easy part, finding the mudskippers was more difficult. The other thing that is going on is that I still have that other order pending. I ordered four of them from the other company. So um, if they do get around to getting back to me and shipping them to me, then I will I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. I could set up a separate tank just to keep them for a while. I'll probably um, make them available locally, so I'll probably sell them since I already have three and I don't need seven. Um, I might just keep the original three. But um, anyway, we'll see what happens. Otherwise, I'm going to have to call my credit card company and dispute the charge and uh, get it reversed if I don't see any, if I don't hear anything back within uh, maybe another week or so. So that's it. I just wanted to share with you guys that I got the muskippers and uh, I know that other video about the muskippers everyone was you know well a lot of people were probably uh, didn't like it because I didn't have anything to show. I was just sitting here talking a lot. I guess I talk a lot. A lot of you commented on how much I talk. Or I talk too much. But uh, anyway um, now there is uh, life in here and uh, I guess the next time I kind of highlight this tank, we'll have some fish in there. That's all I had for now. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.